guys, today I'm going to show you how to do the classical chicken soup for shallots. So, you will need for the chicken soup 5 carrots, 3 sticks of celery, 2 leeks, the bones of the chicken, and then afterwards we'll make chicken by itself with all the other parts of the chicken. And we'll need coriander, a packet of mushrooms, half a butternut squash, and two onions. So let's go, chopping it, washing it, and everything else. Okay, so I quickly want to show you how you peel the mushrooms. So you take out a stalk with your hands, and then as you see, there's like a sort of an opening to peel it. So you stop, op you open the peel opening, and just, and voila, a peeled mushroom. Okay, so I just now finished washing all the vegetables. So the coriander I washed in soap water for like one to two, two to two minutes. And then after that I wash each one separately and make sure there's no bugs in it. The same to the leek and to the celery. Now I'm going to show you how we're going to cut the leek. So that's what we're going to start with cutting. So I cut the leek into half and I take one of the half next to the other half like this. And about every single each, I just inch, I, I cut, I like that. So after I cut all the leek, I put into the bowl of the leek. I just made a bowl full of leek. And then straight after, I'm gonna take the mushrooms and cut each mushroom. Into, into, it depends on you if you like the mushroom big or small. I'm going to cut into quarters because I like them quite small. So it depends on you how big you want mushrooms. Right, so I finished cutting all the mushrooms and I'm going to go on to the butternut squash. So as you see, the butternut squash in the middle, they have seeds. So I'm going to show you how you can empty out the seeds in the easiest way. So I go to the bin and I, with a tablespoon, I scrape off all the seeds. So it's the whole layer. So you're meant to be sounding a scraping sound. So if you don't sound, if you don't hear a scraping sound, that means that it is not empty enough. So I finally finished doing that, and this is how it's meant to look after scraped off. Now I'm going to go on to cutting it. So the way I cut it is I turn over the button and squash, and I cut right through the middle. I take one of the halves and I cut them into thick strips like this. After that, I cut it once, like about twice this way, so to make mini cubes. I'm gonna do that to the same to the other half. So I finished cutting all the button and squash into cubes, but I did forget to tell you that the peel of the button and squash, I just use a normal peeler that I have at home to peel it, okay? So that's just a reminder of how to peel the button and squash. So after I finished um, cutting it, I'm going to remove it from the, from the plate and I'm going to pour it into the pot. Now the pot, the pot is meant to be the biggest pot that you have at home. So even if you're doing a small quantity of soup, the bigger the pot is, the better it cooks and the better it goes. Right, so I, think I put all the butter and squash in the, in the soup, in the, the pot, and I'm going to put all the leeks inside. So a whole plate full of leeks inside of the pot. Now after that, I'm going to put in all the mushrooms I've been cutting. And after that, I want to show you now how to cut my... Carrots. I've peeled them and I've washed them. I'm going to show you how you cut them. So I take all the five carrots together and I cut them in between into like each carrot into about four to five, six pieces. 
Okay, so I'm finished cutting the carrots. I'm going to put that also into the pot. Right, I finished doing that. I'm going to take my celery, my three sticks of celery, and the same to the celery, I'm going to cut into about eight to ten pieces. And plump that too in the pot also. Right, now going on to the onions. I've already peeled one onion. I want to show you how I peel the onion. The easiest way. So I cut the top and the bottom of it. And just take it and put so I make a small cut. And then from that cut I start peeling it all the way through. So if it's a thin wrapper, then it's going to take a bit of time. But if it's a thick one, then it's fine. So I've finished peeling this onion and I'm now going to show you how you cut it. So I cut it exactly in half, I take one half and I cut it again to half and then again to half so it makes a quarter. I'm going to do the same thing to the other half and to the other onion too. Right, so I've finished. I put everything in the pot. And now I'm going to go show you how you do the coriander. So as you see, there's a few not such good ones. So just take it out. You don't want to eat rotten coriander. So all the fresh ones you put on the chopping board. And I cut it right into the middle and then again in the middle. The whole time just cut in the middle again and again until it goes really small. So the smaller the coriander is, the better it goes. So you don't have to cut it that small because it is quite good when it isn't so small, but you have to cut it quite small. So after I just now finished cutting it, I'm going to pop them into the pot too. And then I'm going to go on to the chicken. So the chicken I'm just going to do like that into the pot. So I washed it beforehand, but yeah, I'm just reminded you have to wash the chicken. Right, so after that, I'm going to go to the sink. And fill the pot up with water. So the water has to cover the, the vegetables. And make sure it is cold water and not warm water because warm water makes the vegetables not flavoured and the chicken flavoured. So if you want to do cold water, so it makes the vegetable flavoured and the chicken flavoured. So now put it on the stove on high flame for about three hours until the chicken is all soft and all the vegetables are soft. So I'm going to cover up the soup and once the soup is bubbling you just going to make um, turn the flame into the lowest flame and let it go for three hours as I said before. And bon appetit. So, oh, so last thing, you're gonna have to add to it salt according to flavour. And knedelach. So, I'm gonna show you in a different video how to do knedelach.